The price of unleaded gasoline here in Washington State has hit a new record high. According to AAA, the average price is $3.64. That is up 13 cents over the past month and 50 cents higher than last year. And if you wince by each time you drive by a gas station, take a look at the price of a gallon of gasoline in Ione, Washington. It's about 85 miles north of Spokane and Ponderé County. $3.80. That's just for the regular. KXY 4's Tanya Dahl joins us now. And Tanya, at a time when everyone wants to get the best mileage possible, you found a federal mandate that could cost people several miles per gallon. Yes, that's right, Dave. That mandate's been around for several years now. It's purpose to find alternative fuel sources. Several gas stations across Spokane off, off, offer an ethanol blend. But does it save you money? It depends who you ask. Larry Ryder is a mechanic. His commute from home to work is two hours every day, and he drives a total of 80 miles. A few years back, he bought a fuel flex Impala, hoping to save a buck or two. It allows his car to switch between mostly ethanol and regular gas. If you're spending more to drive to work, you're not saving anything financially. But he says the ethanol alternative wasn't cost effective for him, and that his car didn't run as efficiently. We've got 15 miles to the gallon on the E85 and 26 miles to the gallon on gasoline. So, I mean, it wasn't cost effective to run it. Because of a federal mandate, gas stations across the state and right here in Spokane are selling you E10. It's a 10% ethanol and 90% fuel blend. And it's here to stay. Do consumers have a choice in the matter? If it's mandated by the federal government or state government, no, you would not have a choice. Jim Armstrong with Spokane County Conservation District says the original push for ethanol blends was to reduce emissions during the winter months. But now he says the feds want Americans to reduce their dependency on petroleum. At this point, uh, the mandates are, gain, are geared strictly towards introducing more alternative fuels into the fuel stream. Ryder says ethanol didn't save him money, and his decision to use regular gas boiled down to simple economics. That's exactly what I did. I made it with my checkbook, and it's cheaper to run gas. And how can you tell if ethanol is in the gas that you buy? You look for a sticker on the pump, and it should say contains up to 10% ethanol. Reporting live from Indiana and Ash, Tanya Dahl, KXLY 4.